Hope all you swabbies are still awake. And last time I lied, I said we were going to meet you at Outset Island. No, we are not. The sun is setting. We're going to try going after the ghost ship. As soon as I can find... Where's the moon? Where's the moon? Where's the moon? Moon, come on. Come on, moon me. Aha! It is. That is a full moon. Full moon. Okay, chart, 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 chart. Where did it say? Oh! That's convenient. It's even lighting up on our main chart where the ghost ship is. Oh, man, this would have been better than writing down all this crap and then trying to figure it out from my notes. Okay, well, that's where we're going. Um, yeah, see, we don't need the, uh, we don't need the song that changes night to day. Or day to night. By the way, did I... I don't even remember if I... I got so excited with the sun setting, I, I don't know if I did my proper intro, or I should say my proper Wind Waker intro. Hope all you swabbies are still awake. Late night, Mega, here. We need wind that goes to the northeast. I couldn't remember if I did the swabbies part. I, I know I did some sort of intro. I'm just excited because we get to go deal with the ghost ship. Actually, I'm going to save before we deal with the ghost ship because we might be getting a piece of heart on there as well. Or heart container, so... Yeah. I don't want to pick up that stuff. And uh, those pears that we get... You can buy them from Beetle's shop, but I think his inventory changes depending on which place you're actually at. Are we going to... No, we're not going to Gale. We're going to Crescent Moon. That's Gale. Uh, that must be Crescent Moon. That's what I'm guessing anyways. So yeah, to get those uh, pairs that we needed for the seagulls... A couple videos back uh, we needed to I found them at, at Beetle shop on Outset Island which conveniently you can just warp to okay ghost ship where are you ah there you are Warning! A hug battleship, the ghost ship, is approaching fast. If you don't know what I'm referencing, check out my Darius Twin uh, Let's Play. It's really short, it's only like four videos long. And the whole, the whole game is pretty short, but uh, it is fun, we have a good time. Oh my, what was that ring? Hi, I found you. And I just, I sailed into you, but I triggered a cutscene. Oh, wow, I've, I have boarded the ghost ship. We are in the ghost ship. We are not exiting the ghost ship easily. This looks like a trap. I called it, I called it. Um, telescope and sail are not battle-ready weapons. Yeah, you. Okay. Uh, oh, hey, I can reflect light.
Ha! What is with this plant that's here? I like how it sounds like a laser blast. Alright. Oh, we do have to battle these guys. Okay, good. I'm not just wasting everybody's time. One thing I do appreciate... Wow. That's, that's the chart. Oh my yes. One thing I do appreciate about uh, Wind Waker is there's a lot of, like, enemy combat challenges in the game. There's a lot of money in the ghost ship, too. I appreciate that. And suddenly we're only 1,100 rupees away from getting uh, all the rupees we need to decipher all of these charts. Tingle is... He's very greedy. No, I got... I got... I got the Triforce chart. You... Oh, okay. Well, that's... That's all there is to that. Okay, back to what I was originally doing. Outside Island. So I can cross the grow ship off my list and cross all this off my list because I don't need any of this information anymore. We can just warp to Outside Island. Why was I trying to sail there? Oh well, it gave us the sunset and ghost ship, so I'm not going to complain. Outside Island, and then the last one is at a place called Overlook Island, which we haven't been to yet. Well, we know this. And, of course, the wind is going in the complete opposite direction of what I need it to be going in. That happens a lot, too. Okay, let's, let's press the Wind Waker button. I am competent at this game, I promise. Yeah, we'll just get a southern breeze here. Yeah, and every time you need to change the wind direction, which you see how frequently we need to do that, uh, you gotta play the song of... the wind song... in order to do that. Now... One other thing I should mention for you guys, because I might, I might do it. You remember in Twilight Princess, the sort of bonus dungeon that we had? Yeah, we can call it a bonus dungeon. Uh, ooh, money. Ooh, better money. Uh, we need to... There, There is a bonus dungeon like this in Wind Waker. I believe it has like a heart container or a piece of heart. It's not... The Cave of Trials is what it was called in Twilight Princess. It's... It was a hundred floors in length, and there was all sorts of enemy battle challenges there. It was pretty epic. We did not get very far in it. Uh, yeah, we need to go all the way over the... Um, hmm... I think we better focus on going this way first. And we're going to change to a northeaster direction. Or west. Northwest. I know what I'm talking about. But yeah, we did not get, um, we did not get too terribly far with our minimalist equipment in that dungeon. Also, my memory of that was pretty bad. Uh, okay, we'll just, you know, well, 
hopefully we'll make it. Oh gosh, we might run out of magic. Come on, get there. Oh my gosh. We probably could just hook shot up here too. Whatever. Whatever. We're we're here. It has to be here because we've been everywhere else on this island. Uh, Link, you, you in there, buddy? Oh, he is in there. Hi. Okay, you want to get rid of that now. And anyways, that... Uh, the Cave of Trials, uh, which this is the first appearance of that sort of thing, was actually... This is the Cave of Trials. I have a fairy. Oh, what is this? Savage Lap. This is. Uh, in this game, it's a. F I believe it's just a 50 floor dungeon. Deep in the never end, the way to the golden shard you seek. Oh. I guess I have to do this for the. I'm going to save. Because I think there's other treasure in here as well. Also, we might die. But uh, I don't want to tell you about that. Oh my gosh, bats. Bats, 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 bats. Bats, bats, bats. You want to make some... Oh, you did not just hit me. Oh, am I going to get... They're... The enemies aren't dropping things. I would appreciate it if they drop stuff. It, the fact that they don't drop stuff, that could pose an issue. What the heck? Yeah, these are enemy-based challenges. And the enemy, I think the enemies are designed to not drop stuff, so... Okay, I was not fully expecting this. I'm not going to mess with their dinky weapons. I have the Master Sword. Yeah, maybe like every so many floors will will end up getting a refill. That's unfortunate. I would have liked to have gotten a lot of uh Don't target the ones that are in the process of dying already. Oh, I took another hit there. This is not good. We might not have to go 50 floors deep, though. I... I don't know. Now, what are these things? Oh, these... these guys are annoying. What's the best way to deal with them? Do I want to... I don't want to freeze them. Boomerang. And then once they're balled up, they're easy. But until then, I want to just handle these guys one at a time. There is a... Okay, good. I did see uh, a quick time reaction prompt, but I'm not going to attempt too many of those, unless we have to fight Dark Nuts, because that is really the way to fight Dark Nuts.
Look at you. Oh, I think... I think every so many floors you get like a culmination of the previous enemies that you fought. Or just two types of enemies. Oh man, this is going to be really tough with three hearts in one bottle. If enemies were dropping stuff... That bat's gonna bother me. That bat is bothering me. Don't want to take any more damage. Oh! Neat. Well, that's what the quick time reaction on that thing looks like. This is a dark floor. But fortunately, the enemies are still all lit up. I do appreciate that uh, Link's combo attacks are often very... have very wide angles. And can... oh, you guys. Let him get back up. There we go. And again, I haven't found anything yet. Oh, stuff. Oh, that's the way back out, and that takes us deeper. But this is stuff. Supplies, money. Yeah, I always appreciate the money. Okay. Uh, well, we need to go deeper, because we did not find a uh, piece of Triforce yet. We did get healed up. That's going to be big. Ooh, I love these guys. Don't appreciate that. Just do a quick double tap with the boomerang on them. I can't get over the sound that they make. Uh, that's one of the cartoony things that I do like about this. I don't like the swirly smoke. That that I will never get over. I'm about to say there's nothing here. I know there's more slimes. So the first area was kind of like the first dungeon area. I wonder if... Hmm. I wonder if we're going to have, like, sets of ten floors representing each of the five main dungeons that we've been in. Oh, are you serious? Boomerang takes those out in one shot? Okay. I did not know that, but that is super convenient. Okay, Boomerang is really strong in uh, Wind Waker. I like it. Yeah, Boomerang from uh, Twilight Princess, not nearly as good. Yeah, go pick up your stick so I can see where you are. Okay, you... Uh, oh yeah, what I was saying, his his uh, sword combos are often, like, very wide attacks, so they can sometimes hit lots of enemies at once, which is very handy in... Crap. Very handy in situations like this.
We took damage there. I've never been so worried about damage as I am now. Just because... And just because this is minimalist, and I've only got three hearts. Yo! You stupid pea hat! And these enemies are designed not to drop anything. I mean, okay, don't have them drop hearts, but have them drop money. I like money. Yeah, this is meant to be an endurance test. A huge endurance test. I think we're going to start... Oh my gosh! Here I was thinking... Okay, those are all trap jars. Get up, so I can smack you down again. I want to get these jellies out of the way, or the choo-choos out of the way. Uh, uh, I don't like the invincibility frames that enemies have. Okay, so strategy for the guys that jump out of the jars, let them land on the ground first, so that way you don't have to deal with knocking them down and not killing them. Oh, these beetles. But they die really quickly to the Master Sword. I just got a better maneuver. Okay, you're still here. You're nothing. get that one that's on the floor. Okay, I need to make you on the floor. I'm taking way too much damage from these guys. Wow, those guys are tough. Okay, if I see them again, I'm going to use something like fire arrows. I guess I don't have to kill those things. Oh, man, that's rough. Please be a checkpoint. Yes, checkpoint. A heart. I need another heart. Thank you. Yep, I need the hearts just a little more than the money. This is also why I wanted to uh, collect all the Triforce charts before um, paying to decipher any of them or trying to collect money other ways. Okay. Um, I guess, will we survive the next set of ten? And when are we going to get... Are we going to get all the way down to 50? Uh, we will find out next time.